Okay, so here's a little something I came up with. Uh, it's pretty much a regular TV remote control with a pager. So, you know, when you lose your remote in the couch or something, you can find it. Uh, what I did is pretty much I just took a old cordless phone, took the circuit board out of it, removed all the unnecessary things like the screen and microphone and such. And I put it inside this remote control. I mean, it's old remote control for a crappy TV, that one little one down there. I didn't want to do it on a good one just in case I messed anything up. But, I mean, everything works. The remote will turn on the TV. So that works. And I rigged it so you can charge it by plugging it in right there in that little white slot from the base with this wire right here. And it beeps when you plug it in. Alright, now you probably want to know if it actually works. Alright, so I'll put the remote somewhere. I'll hide it in the bed or something. Oh, I guess it just turned on. But if I press the button on the base, the phone will start beeping. And just how you, or the uh, remote will start beeping. And you'll find it just like you would find a phone that has a pager in it. So once you hear the noise, you just get close to it and you can find it. I mean, if I did it on a later version, I'd probably try to have a button on here so you could turn it off. But for now, you have to come up to the base and press the button again. But I mean, it's completely functional and it's just the idea of... I've been thinking of for a long time. There's uh, speaker holes I drilled in it. It was really easy to do. I just had to gut uh, the plastic of the remote. And uh, everything works really. It's powered on the remote and the phone circuit is powered on the battery from the phone. Uh, it works perfectly. Just a lot of soldering and electrical tape, I guess. A little bit of hot glue. But yeah, here it is.